race eight, championship Saturday, is the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Holy fuck, is this going to be an exciting race. So much competition. Last year's winner right here, Dre Fong, defending champion. But last year's race was ugly. Here, 5th of November. This is a race that has not been given a lot of respect in the annals of time. Ran a 103 buyer, one by a length and a quarter. Mind your biscuits who came in third in that race, is also in this race. We'll get to Minor Biscuits in a second. Minor Biscuits is an interesting horse because in a sprint, you think that you just run right to the pace. But no, Minor Biscuits comes from behind and is a pretty special horse. Now, Dre Fong has not run against a real fast pace. If you look at the last couple races, a 22 and a 22 and 4, not getting a lot of fast pace, which has made it very easy for Dre Fong to get in a, a loose lead and not be pushed. That's not going to happen. There are two horses that are going to run insanely, insanely fast off the, off the hop. First is Tackleful, the seven horse, a three-year-old, ran a 107 buyer in the Vosburg just recently. Jesus Christ, very, very fast. Also, the 10, Imperial Hint. Imperial Hint will be flying. Both Tackleful and Imperial Hint will go after the league. Jose Ortiz is on Tackleful. JJ Castellano is on Imperial Hint. They will not allow Mike Smith and Dre Fong to get a loose lead, to get an easy lead. Ta um, Imperial Hint has won six of his last seven starts. Five consecutive triple-digit buyers. Very impressive. Tackleful and Imperial Hint are going to be very dangerous here. So is the eight, Roy H. Roy H should be on a five race winning streak, but got unlucky here at Del Mar when a riderless Dre Fong got in his way. Dre Fong, two races ago at this very park, Del Mar, tossed his jockey Mike Smith right off the hop, and then a riderless Dre Fong fucked up the whole race. In that race, Ransom, Ransom the Moon won it, and it was a fluke. Ransom the Moon did not look good in the Santa Anita Sprint Championship recently, but had put up three straight triple buyers, so it's not someone that we should just completely forget about. The five Whitmore is a dangerous horse, had a five race winning streak snapped in the True North Stakes by none other than Roy H. Whitmore is eight for 10 sprinting, but might not be fast enough for these. And then we get to the other horse that's very dangerous here, Mind Your Biscuits. Looked incredible in the Golden Shaheen. The Golden Shaheen in Dubai dominated this race and came from pretty far back and completely dominated it. If there's a huge pace, mind your biscuits can come running. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this race. I do know that I'm going to take a whole bunch. I'm going to take the, the two, Dre Fong. I'm going to take the six, mind your biscuits, the seven, Tackleful, the eight, Roy H, and the 10, Imperial Hint in my pick four because I've, I've got a nice pick four. My pick four is, is only gonna cost, what, I've got three in the first race, then one, one, so that's three times five. It's gonna cost me $15 for a pick four. That's about the cheapest pick four I've ever seen. But that's what we're dealing with right here. I'm gonna have to study this race more to figure out what individual bets I'm gonna make. There's a lot of competition here. And I think the lines are gonna change. I think Dre Fong will become a bigger favorite. I think a horse like Mind Your Biscuits or Imperial Hint will become uh, a more, a better proposition we'll get it we'll get a crooked number on them this is going to be a very exciting sprint man can't wait race eight delmar breeders cup sprint let's get that cash